Hey guys, thanks for coming this morning. Um, I, uh, I'm really excited to introduce Ian. Um, you know, Ian was actually one of the first, I think, five people that I interviewed for my project. What is it like to be tattooed? You know, you obviously have many, and you do it on a daily basis, and I don't have any. Does anyone in the audience have a tattoo? There, a couple of people. Okay, I'm just kind of curious what the experience is like. To get one? Yeah. Uh, it hurts. <laughs> um, it, I mean, that's one of the things at, at Safe House that we kind of try to stand out is, is kind of put you at ease from the get-go. You know, I have, I have five other guys that tattoo with us. With all those people, thankfully, they're good artists, but I didn't hire them solely because they're good artists. Because of the personalities they have, I know that they'll be infectious to where they leave and you might get a bird on your arm, but you got a bird done by Chip or Zane and that is what you got, not just, I got this bird, I got this bird done by this person. I'm curious, how, how does one learn to be a tattoo artist? Was it apprenticing or an internship? Yeah, it's an apprenticeship. Uh, there are some tattoo schools out there. I don't really trust those as far as I can throw them. Uh, Why not? Uh, there's just, there's not enough one-on-one -on -one from what I believe, and I think a lot of it is just, I'm gonna make a bunch of money off these people. I'm more so, concerned about you know, what somebody's like and then bring them in on that. And then a traditional apprenticeship can be anywhere from a year to two years. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard of people, very few people are doing two year apprenticeships, but some of the real old school guys won't even let you touch a machine for a year. Ian and I had coffee a couple weeks ago and we both you know, bonded over the fact that we literally sit around and have conversations with people all day and that's our favorite thing in the world. I mean, you're a people person like myself. We both came from bartending and serving backgrounds. Mm -hmm. So how did, how did that sort of um, influence, you know, your people person personality and your love for hospitality and taking care of others? Mm -hmm. How did that influence the shop that you've created in town? I was tattooing a guy and it was a very deep conversation. It was just me and him at the shop and, and he just starts spilling his guts about all this stuff about him and addiction and all these different things, and I started to share a bit of myself. I just felt, not only am I a safe place for this guy, it must be, he's just spilling his guts, but I feel safe enough to kind of let him know me too. Um, so I shared a bit about my own issues with addiction and things like that, and uh, the guy I'm tattooing says, man, this place is like a safe house or something. And then literally, he's, that's like the exact words, and the guy that worked for me at the time so, oh, you must have told them that that's what we're thinking about for a name. And I said, no, not at all. So, but now it's decided. I mean, that was, that was it. Uh, and that's always been how it is now. 